The 19th Sunday after Pentecost, year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. about kids is that you never know how exactly they're going to receive things, much more so than adults who have learned more or less how to hide their reactions behind a screen of acceptable behavior. Children are who they are. So when Jesus tells us that we must receive the kingdom of God as a little child, maybe what Jesus is saying to us is that we can only receive the kingdom by being exactly who we are, the products of our individual ongoing efforts to make sense of a world over which we have remarkably little control. I can't help but wonder whether Jesus is also saying that marriages fail because one or both of the parties involved is unwilling or unable to enter the relationship as the people who they are, without deception or suppression, and thus they're unable to receive their partners as the people who they are. The clay of their being is hardened against one another. The clay of Job's being has definitely been battered. So that as he sits among the ashes, scraping away at the itching sores with the sharp and rigid edge of a broken clay pot, it may be hard to tell where Job ends and the dust and ashes begin. Satan believes that Job will break down and curse God in his desperation to maintain the life and identity that he has made for himself. But Job has instead become like a child, adapting, becoming the child who knows his own vulnerability to the good or the bad he receives at the hand of God. Because becoming is the virtue of mortals, Job persists in his integrity and does not sin. This is the integrity which trusts in the Lord and does not falter. The integrity which knows itself vulnerable to sin and so repents and washes itself in innocence. This integrity of becoming starts out for a little while lower than the angels. And then, within the embrace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has tasted death for everyone, this integrity comes to be crowned with glory and honor because of that suffering and that death. Let us, therefore, practice this integrity of becoming. Let us, in all our relationships, welcome whatever comes at us, not only as the selves we have come to be, but also as the selves we are becoming in our encounter with whatever comes at us. For such is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.